Memories of Horace's Garden. We find ourselves in an abandoned garden. Rich loam built up by years of leaf litter, dead things still full of substance piled up and left to ferment. There are fallen trees across the flagstones. When I reach their mossy edges, I can feel the gaps in our conversation. Telling me I should about face and return along the path. This is a tricky maneuver for me. I am all elbows and cuff buttons. When I try to gesture around these obstacles, my sleeves become caught on branches. You never seem to get snagged. Maybe these visions are intangible if you don't go looking for relics. In this place of mulch and dust and fractured patios, I see a wine bottle, preserved by the gods of the wild places. Over there, there's a pair of names carved into the brickwork, highlighted by summer's penultimate afternoon. At one time, there was a celebration here. People in loose-cut clothing sat on multicolored cushions they had found in their grandfather's library. They sipped from smiling glasses, chatting in unhurried voices about paintings, about bumblebees, about snacks with delicate flavors. They did not talk about the war. With each splash of conversation, they rem remembered speeches made by serious men and promptly forgot them when the shyest of their number told a funny anecdote. They filled their glasses from a jug their host had bought in northern Greece and sipped Italian wine. They recited gentle stories to each other and flirted with glances until the sun went down. And you, my dearest friend, I am not ignoring your question. Your tears are important to me. It is simply vital that you know all of that really happened. I am telling you this because years ago I found traces of it sprinkled across a book of ancient poetry. And I am sorry that I am taking up so much of your time, but the future is charging towards us. And this reconstructed moment is the only way I know how to tell you the exact moment of how it felt that when I realized the noisy business of this world will simmer down and we will once again be free to sit at leisure with our friends and pluck a perfect moment.